dun 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 Well, all right. Greetings and good day, my good people. It's your boy, Art Czar. Back with you live in effect for yet another review and reveal of a product that I picked up a little bit ago. Now, I must tell you guys, I've actually been under the weather, the COVID weather. Unfortunately, got hit with that thing. It got me out of nowhere. I don't know what happened. I was down for about two weeks or so. It took forever to get my energy back up. But your boy Art Czar is feeling a whole lot better. And it's time to get the swing of things uh, reignited and get the energy all popping and rolling forward and so forth and so on get the communication going back again you know rekindle the spirits and all that good stuff as you can see i spent a lot of days wrapped up in my coach blanket <laughs> and i'm gonna tell you something this thing feels extremely comfortable it's soft it's 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 like a cashmere type of uh uh material it feels very very good i mean in, in the cold weather here we got like three days of snow here and uh and if, if in less than a week we got hit three times with almost three times with snow it's crazy but without further ado, I wanted to bust out something here today. It is from your boy, Alexander McQueen. And here we go. Bang. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I thought the same thing. These are some very, very high top shoes there. I mean, they're constructed like running shoes. But the thing about it is they're not necessarily running shoes. <laughs> they're more so, um, I guess, style sneakers. Uh, I guess you can run in them if you want. I wouldn't do it. I mean, they're very heavy too. So this is not gonna be a very comfortable run. It's not gonna be a, a Saucony or a Puma or anything like that. This is gonna be definitely for the dressier, uh, stylish type of thing. Uh, these are some really good sneakers. So let's let's get all into the into the minutia of it, just so we can kind of talk about this a little bit, kind of discuss what we're looking at here. As you can see, these are the Alexander McQueens. Uh, if you look at the name of these, they're going to be uh, ooh, do not get me to trying to pronounce what that says right there. I'm not going to try that. <laughs> uh, miss, 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 or whatever they want to call that. I'll just say they're very nice sneakers. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to get all into the crazy stuff about these shoes. I have not wore them yet, so they have just been pulled out of the box. Uh, construction is amazing on these, by the way. Um, that's one of the things about certain high level types of sneakers. You're going to get top tier construction um it's going to last they're going to feel really nice on the foot these feel extremely uh comfortable and durable they don't feel like they're going to break down anytime soon these shoes probably will last longer than i will because <laughs> i i'm very easy on the things that i pick up anyway uh so let's just start the, the, the elephant in the room these are big bulky heavy shoes i mean they, they're heavy they're heavy they're hefty they're not like bricks but they're like blocks. I'm going to tell you right now, these have some weight on them, okay? So if you're coming into this looking for a very light shoe, if you know anything about the Stephen McQueens, he has some lighter, um, more like a, like, a, like a dress type of sneaker. They're very thin and very light, but they're very durable though. Uh, I can't remember the name of them to save my life, but they have the big white thick sole on it with the big uh, red or green back on the end of them. They're, 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 they're very thick. But they're very light. They're not like these. These are extremely heavy. These have some sh extreme hardcore uh, material ship on these. <clears throat> if you look at it, this sole, it, it's, it's a very hard rubberized type of sole. And it's not hard to clean either. I've actually just, uh, there was a scuff right there. For some reason, I guess when the, they boxed them up for me or whatever, they must have, the salesman must have scuffed it so i took something and wiped it i mean it comes right off it's very very smooth but you can see it's very thick as well it's not a very thin uh type of uh, material it's not going to get all banged up and, and, and dinged all up because it's very thick okay and it's very soft it's soft but thick and very heavy uh so it's going to give you a really really nice uh i guess a good feedback when you walk in these you're going to be able to bounce in these left to right and you're going to be able to make some head to tails of these you're going to feel pretty good with these on one way or the other so you're going to you're going to get the, you're going to get the full effect of that 
Yeah, so, oh, pardon the baker's hands, everybody. I've gotten that taken care of. <laughs> Anyways, so basically what we have here, uh, the, the, the material ship, the chosen material and craftsmanship of these shoes are spot on and amazing. The only thing that I like on my sneakers, though, uh, in any of them, especially when I'm wearing my Christian Louboutins, I like the stitched uh, sole on the shoe. This is all going to be cemented, which is fine. I mean, you know, it's going to it's going to be OK, uh, especially if you don't wear them every day. So it's not going to start separating over the next few years, you know, but I prefer to have stitching, uh, you know, run along the base of the shoe. Uh, it's going to give it added security in terms of uh, the reassurance that it's going to stay together. That's my preference when it comes to sneakers. But hey, you know, we'll, we'll give all these guys a run just to see what will happen. Okay, let's start at the base. This is rubber. It's a rubberized sole. Uh, it's very thick. Nothing's going to, if you step on a rock or something or walking on a curb, it's not going to protrude through the sole. So you're not going to feel it. Uh, that's, I guess, an added plus or a bonus. Uh, but this is very, very thick. Uh, but it's a thin layer. It's the weirdest stuff. It's a thin layer, but it's very thick. It, I, I don't understand it. Uh, it adds to the girth and the depth of this particular uh, shoe in terms of the heft. It makes it even heavier. But this is a very unique uh, print pattern on the base of the sole of the shoe. So it's going to leave a very unique footprint when you walk in these. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. So... The beauty with this particular sneaker, as mostly anyone out there can actually deduce and see, are the uh, different kinds of materials that are used. Uh, first, we have suede here. Very nice, soft suede, very well stitched. Double track stitching there, which is always a big thing for me on the suede. This is gonna be more or less like some type of fluorescent, uh, rubberized, plasticky, uh, I don't know what you want to call this stuff, uh, but it's very nice to the touch. It feels like the stuff that the swimmers wear, uh, those swimsuits, uh, scuba divers. It feels like a scuba diver material, real thick, but like a rubbery type of material there. This is more going to be a, a plastic material, uh, kind of like, you know, a snorkel, snorkelers you use in those little snorkels. Uh, very thick, though. It's not cheap. And this is going to also have a different contrast colored um suede and it's going to it's going to also be double track stitch so you can see the stitching on this is very very well made very well performed uh, and it's going to go all it's going to run all around the uh top vamp of the shoe all around the base to the other side where you're going to have those perforated holes on the back or the uh the heel quarter panel or yeah about the heel quarter panel or so of this particular shoe it's going to have the contrast suede which is also double tracked now I think that's a very good touch. When you touch these shoes, you're gonna get a very good smooth touch feel here. Suede has always been a, a favorite of mine. I've always liked suede. Sneakers, dress shoes, I like suede. Suede, easy to clean if you take good care of it. It's comfortable, it's gonna feel real well. I also like this little flap right here. This stitch flap right here. It's it's part of that plasticky uh, side that goes into this, it all feeds together there. And basically it, it leads into this uh more like a rubberized uh vamp where the uh the top part of your vamp of your foot is going to sit like right in here and it's going to be very breathable because there's mesh under there i don't know if you can see it yeah you guys can see that so there's mesh under there feels real comfortable to the touch uh it's obviously you have the alexander mcqueen uh you know uh logo and it's obviously stitched it's got like a naya uh blah like a uh, nylon type of material there, it's single track, so it's not gonna come apart or fray. This is also stitched with a little uh, crescent on the toe. The, the laces are pretty good. They're very nice thick cotton laces. Um, they're not cheap laces either. If you see this, um, I like the uh, the metal uh, uh, eyelets on these things, where they, the eyelets are metal around the edge, so when you, when you, when you uh, lace them up, it glides through and it holds very strong, but this is all plastic on the tips, as well as plastic. Well, that's a, well, that's a metal eyelet right there, but they're plastic from here on up though. That one metal eyelet gives you that stability for that one portion of it. So that's gonna be pretty cool, okay? Here's the kicker. I, I like this fluorescent back. Don't know what it's made of yet, but I can tell you like this, it's gorgeous. 
yeah, this little fluorescent uh, Steve McQueen or uh, Alexander McQueen uh, back has that. Um, hear that? Um, that material, it fly, it shines in the sunlight. It shines uh, different colors. It's got this fluorescent look to it. It's got a purple, a uh, violet look to it in some aspects of when the sun smacks it. And then it gets like a plum color. Then it goes more to like a blueberry. So you can see the blueberry look on it. And then you get a little closer and you hit the sun on it. And then boom, out comes the plum, et cetera, et cetera. It, it kind of makes you think it's patent leather, but it's not. Uh, it's definitely softer than patent leather. And it has that, uh, like I said, those qualities of fluorescent color on it from the color wheel. Kind of cool. I don't know what the material that is, but I actually like it same difference coming around for the tongue of the shoe it's not the kind of tongue that's going to flap all out when you pull the laces out this tongue is stitched into the interior of the shoe uh neoprene around the edge uh very soft and there's a strip of uh leather there for the pull tab now this side of course is going to be the same as what's going on down here uh right in there it's going to be that uh nylon material but on the flip side of this shoe as you can see when i flipped it over it picks up with leather stitching and then leather uh, reinforcement, which is a pretty good touch. You can see from there, that from here, this piece right here, is, it's, it's, it's all uh, nylon. And then when it crosses over the tongue to the interior of the shoe, then it picks up with a leather reinforcement right here. So that's pretty cool. This is all soft backed, uh, kind of like a, uh, I'm gonna say it's, 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 mm, it's like a fishnet type of material. Uh, very thin. It's going to be very breathable. I'm probably not going to wear these sneakers in the winter time. This is going to be more or less like a spring summer, of course, shoe. So I'm glad I'm doing a review right now because they just get to you guys get a chance to go out and find your pair of these uh, while they're still in uh, the stores. So in the interior of the shoe, obviously, it's not going to be leather like I like it. But I can tell you this for the price. I had to grab them because it wasn't too terrible just for a statement piece. The inside of this, of course, is going to be neoprene, uh, very soft. Uh, you know, it's going to be very cushioned around the uh, Achilles part of your foot. So it's not going to dig into your foot or cause some type of problems or pain in there or whatever have you. You're going to get a very nice, comfortable wear from the heel base all the way down or from your Achilles all the way down to your heel base, all the way down, all the way up to the front of the vamp of the shoe where your toes will align. And these are about 45. I think these are 45 yep they are 45 <laughs> and uh so that's like a 12 in us uh i'm about 11 and a half to a 12 depending upon the shoe i can wear either one they feel amazing though i'm gonna tell you right now these things feel absolutely amazing when you put them on i can walk around in them and not really know that they're on my foot until i really start doing some high level movement <laughs> But as far as comfort, oh, they're there, definitely. Definitely have a little bit of weight and heft to them, though. But aside from that, I like my stuff hefty. I don't like really thin and light stuff because it doesn't feel like it's going to last. Uh, I like I like stuff that's going to have a very nice long-term feel to it because it's going to give me the opportunity to know in my mind that when you spend a little money for something, it's going to be around for a while. I'm kind of one of those people. So I tend to gravitate more so to the uh, application of good products and good craftsmanship thereof, uh, good quality items, and don't really care about how heavy it is. <laughs> I, I don't have little bird legs anyway, so that's, I have really thick muscular legs, and that's going to be the thing. So yeah, but this is pretty much it. So these are the Alexander McQueen sneakers. I do not know the name of them, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that MC, 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 mush, mush, mush. <laughs> you guys can be pretty much use your imagination though that so yeah i wanted to take the time to uh bust these out give it a quick review post uh sickness or variant i'm not gonna keep throwing the word out there but you guys know what i'm talking about this stuff is very very crazy it'll zap your energy and your life force and it'll put you on your back and so that's where i've been for the past couple of weeks until recently so just got up and got moving around again Feeling real good now. Your boy Art Zara is back making his videos again. I have a couple of new things to pop up out here, but this is where it's going to start. So I want you to guys do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how I'm doing. Of course, I wanted to get the good stuff out for you guys. And again, this is your boy Art Zara. Loving all you guys. Thank you for watching. And I am out.